Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to start swarming from Salesforce using Service Cloud for Slack. In this video, we are going to see all the steps which is required to start swarming from Salesforce uh, to Slack. So the first pre-request for that is go to initial Slack setup, complete all these steps. All these steps has to be done. And the next step is go to service cloud for Slack in Salesforce setup and enable service cloud for Slack. This particular step is also part of this initial Slack setup. So make sure this is also done. And go to swarming in Salesforce setup. Enable swarming and make sure the collaboration tool is set to Slack. And in your Slack workspace, make sure service cloud for Slack app is installed. For this demo, I'm going to create a new channel so that we can test it out. So I'm going to do the swarming from Salesforce to this particular Slack channel in my Slack workspace. Next, create a simple flow like this. So let's see all the elements in this screen flow. So it is a screen flow. The screen flow will start. The, the first step is I'm using get swarming collaboration tool uh, core action. So I'm using the get swarming collaboration tool settings uh, um, action. I'm not uh, save manually assigning any variables. I'm just uh, calling this I'm using this get swarming collaboration tool settings so that I can get all the pre-request for swarming. Next, I'm using a screen element. Inside the screen element, I'm using Slack workspace selector. So you can find all this in this component and then you can add it. So the first step in my swarming will be selecting the workspace. Next, I have another screen element and inside the screen element, I'm using Slack channel selector. So previously it was a workspace selector. Here I'm using Slack channel selector. So workspace is done, so channel is done. Next, I'm going to get, I have two text uh, box where first I will get the title and next is Slack message. So when the swarm record, record is created, the name will be mapped to this title and in the Slack workspace or in the channel, the information what I'm going to post it is nothing but this Slack message. So I have two text variables. Next, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating a swarm record. In the swarm record, collaboration tool, I'm setting it as from the collaboration first element, um, I'm getting the collaboration tool value. And in the collaboration URL, I'm using this. So this is the URL I'm using. app.slack.com slash client slash from the uh, Slack workspace selector, I'm getting the workspace ID. And in the channel selector, I'm getting the channel ID. Next, in the help needed column, I am passing the Slack message. For the name, I am using the title. Owner will be the current running flow user ID. 
related record is nothing but from which the record is uh, swarm record is created so i'm going to call this flow from uh, uh, case object so i declared a record id variable with which is an input variable and uh, start date time i'm setting it to current date and time of the flow status i'm setting it to in progress so it will create the swarm record for me once the swarm record is created i want to send this uh, um, um, uh, swarm record to slack uh, channel so for that i'm using send slack core uh, action Here, for Slack app, I am getting the, the first element get swarming collaboration tool. Uh, I am getting the collaboration app ID from it. For workspace, I'm, I, I used Slack work, workspace selector. So from that, I am getting the workspace ID. I am executing it as Slack app. Next, for the Slack conversation ID, I'm using the channel ID. So I used uh, Slack ch channel selector. Um, so I'm using the selected channel ID from that channel selector. Slack for Slack message, I'm using user.id. And for the Salesforce record ID, I'm using the swarm ID from uh, uh, create swarm uh, uh, um, element. Uh, so here I'm passing the user ID and I'm passing the record ID because uh, I'm not going to send the message here. I'm, I wanted to send the swarm record here. So that is the reason I'm passing the user ID and the swarm record ID here. So one important thing here is once this particular uh, information is done, I'm using Slack message timestamp variable to store the uh, timestamp of the message uh, or, or it is like a unique value so that we can build the collaboration URL. I will tell more information about this and how to use it in a in, in, uh, few minutes. So I am storing the Slack message timestamp value in Slack message timestamp uh, variable. So once that is done, I am fetching records from collaboration room where platform key is equal to the channel selected ID and team key is equal to workspace ID so that I'm checking whether already a collaboration room was created for this uh, uh, test to channel. So I'm fetching it and first and I'm using a decision element and then I'm checking so collaboration room value from the get collaboration um, element. I'm checking whether the collaboration ID is null. If it is, for, if it is not null then I will use the existing collaboration uh, room ID. So previously, if somebody already created uh, a collaboration room, then it won't go and duplicate another collaboration room. So I'm, I'm using a uh, collaboration room ID equals to the existing collaboration room ID, which was created for that particular uh, channel. And next, if the collaboration ID was not created and if I am the first person to uh, swarm, then I am creating a collaboration record here. For collaboration uh, uh, record, um, I am using uh, room record, I am using name as channel ID, platform key as channel ID and team key as workspace ID. And then I am getting this ID which is created to the collaboration room ID and then I am updating the swarm record which got created. So ID is equal to swarm ID from uh, create swarm which I created previously. Collaboration room ID, I am setting it to the uh, collaboration room ID. If it was an existing collaboration room ID, it will use that. If it is not having a, a collaboration room ID based on the decision, it would have created another uh, collaboration room record and that particular ID will be passed here. And uh, this is important in the message key i am using the slack message timestamp so we actually um, send we used send a slack message and uh, we manually assigned the slack timestamp to this particular slack message timestamp variable so we are passing that value to the message key in the swarm record and this is important 
I'm updating the collaboration URL from this one to this one now. So I'm using app.slack.com client slack workspace channel dot selector workspace ID slash channel ID slash thread slash channel selector dot channel ID iPhone slack timestamp message stamp so that when the um, swarm record is created the collaboration URL will have the URL to the thread so in order to test it I have a case record I'm going to, and one more important thing is I created a quick action to call this to, so to call this flow I'm using create swarm request which is uh, uh, so this create swarm request is a uh, uh, screen flow so I'm calling it from my quick action so let's test it so I'm going to start swarming so first is workspace selection and workspace next is channel so let's see that I'm using test to do so channel is also done next is I have to get the message to be posted Next, it will create a swarm record. It will send it to Slack. It will create a collaboration record because uh, uh, it will check collaboration record. This will be definitely false because this is the first time I created the Slack channel. So it will create a collaboration room record and then it will assign the collaboration uh, room ID and then it will update the swarm record. So this is the swarm record which got created. So this is the record. I can click view case to view the information. I can enter some information here and I can finish the swarming here. The swarming is closed so here the status is also closed so using this simple flow we can easily um, do swarming from Salesforce to slack for this collaboration URL and other information please check the video description I will share my blog post using my blog post you can get all these uh, collaboration URL setup and uh, screenshots which has uh, detailed steps uh, so using this video and with that blog post you will be able to uh, do your uh, swarming request from Salesforce to Slack I hope it was helpful Thank you for watching.